He's a tough cookie. Listen, you're the doctor. How could he even be walking around with a hole in his head? He's a tough cookie. Listen, you're the doctor. How could he even be walking around with a hole in his head? And what are you going to do? Did you forget who's after us? I'm not dragging him along with me any further. And what are you going to do? Did you forget who's after us? I'm not dragging him along with me any further. Damn, my head is killing me. Maybe someday soon I'll wake up in my own home. Welcome. Welcome to... Uh, hold on. You gave me the wrong text. <clears throat> Welcome, newcomer. We're glad to see you in Price's ranks. If you're serious, love experiments, and have great faith in your abilities, then immediately head for the medical unit. You'll be examined by our specialists and immediately inject <clears throat> enjoy a short overview to bring you up to speed. And remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. Let's maybe add to the end. We hope you live long enough. Or what a pity it is that you'll be dying soon. That's odd. I feel like I know that voice. like you're in danger, like someone is about to hurt you, don't be afraid. Just make your opponent laugh or scream, and then our Mr. Bite will come to your aid. So the better option is just calling a teacher.
to make the world a better place. If you suddenly begin to feel nauseated and dizzy, please bear in mind that these are not side effects of our miraculous drug, but simply a product of ordinary fatigue or a magnetic storm. In any case... I gave him an injection of that drug, so he should come too in a little while. Even I don't understand what the side effects could be. But he really needs to get to a hospital.
If you're a department head and you still have a key card with the required access, consider yourself lucky. If you're an ordinary rank and file employee, then to put it mildly, you're in a sticky situation. Find your supervisor or his remains. Take the key card and follow further instructions. Along with the rest of the staff, or alone if you're unlucky, collect the corpses and pack them into bags. Take them over to the special zone. Find any service phone and call our special cleanup brigade. Then simply make yourself some coffee and wait to be sent on a well-deserved vacation. And remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. human body has helped few survive. But whose fault is that? Ask yourself. It isn't yours anymore. Now, every employee of our corporation can try the miraculous Vice Prince drug, created on the basis of, screw it, figure something out, and which gives unprecedented strength and endurance to anyone who takes it. If you couldn't even outrun a turtle before, now you'll never come second in speed and endurance to even the fastest robots. Have a bullet wound? No matter. It'll heal before you even have time to blink. Go ahead and make an appointment. Remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. Which of you can tell me what the mortality rate of volunteers is? What? You sure that zero at the end is correct?
to the flourishing corporation of Fire. We value smart people, but we also highly value physical labor. Without you, we wouldn't be able to deliver equipment to our clients yet, thereby create a better and safer world. But if anyone thinks they can slack off, listen closely. My patience is not endless, and I am willing to set money aside to train our animatronics so they can fill your jobs. And then, I will fire you. We see everything. Get to work. Change yourself, and everything around you will follow. Jerry, fire my speechwriter. The speeches he writes are too nice. What child doesn't love toys? Would you buy your child a toy? And what if we tell you that we've developed big toys capable of protecting you and your children? Our goal is to create safe, powerful robots. As a rule, all of these robots are terrible and unsavory to look at, but not ours. These pleasant looking toys will soon be in every part of the world. And what if some country decides to harm the planet or insult our powerful country? All I... Oh, excuse me. All we have to do is pull the lever. And our sweet robots will stop being so sweet. And remember, if anyone can't change, then we'll help them. Send my presentation to the General. Leave me a key, just in case.
Yes. Whew. I've done it. Oh, I finally got out. Whew. If you're watching this video, or can at least still listen to it, congratulations. You are the chosen one who has survived our latest experiment or terrible incident. Well, or you're just lucky in life. The first thing you should understand at once is that you will not receive overtime pay, but the world and the Vice Corporation will be forever grateful to you for your contribution and hard work. John, is that you? I've got a serious problem here. Scary toys are trying to kill me. Get me out of here now. I'm calling from a phone booth on Fifth Avenue, near the shopping center. <laughs> 